It would not be a party in a banquet without our now famous top 10 plays. The girls were too good this year. We had to add two more, so we've got a bonus of two honorable mentions. Let's get right to the first honorable mention. This is going to feature Miss Emily Draper, who's going to get a pass here in the back of the end zone in a very big game against Plant. Olivia takes a snap and finds Draper in the back of the end zone, who leaps up and makes the catch. Let's watch that. Spins around Peyton Paro. Makes the catch. Peyton, not happy about it, beats the earth. Now we're going to move on to the second honorable mention, also featuring Miss Emily Draper. This time it's a five and out. Olivia hits, hits her as she moves up towards the pylon. Watch her sneak down to that end zone and across to make the catch for a big touchdown. That is against Choctaw in the state semifinals. Now we're into the actual top 10 plays. First play we're going to feature here is against Plant. This is fourth quarter. Emily Kemp comes in motion. She... Runs a quick hitch and is drilled with a bullet pass from Olivia. Perfectly timed. Great pattern. Great read. Great pass. Great catch for a big touchdown. Let's watch it again. Emily Kemp coming across. She runs upfield, gets across the end zone, and thwack, there's the ball. Play number nine, also from the plant game. This time, the girls were down seven, putting a drive together. Olivia takes a snap. Great blocking by Sarah. Olivia steps up and finds a crossing. Pattern there by Cassidy Renegar, who scores touchdown against our arch rivals. Let's watch it again. Great blocking again. Steps up, and look who's found some space across the middle. That's Cassidy, who stretches across for the TD. We're having some fun here against our rivals. Plant. Let's keep it up with play number eight. Fourth and one is where the Knights are. They've yet to score. We just got to get a first down. Something short would be nice. No, they go over the top. That's Emily Kemp catching it. Folks, your team's awful good if this is the eighth best Play of the year, 61 yards on fourth and one. Let's watch this football come in. And bullseye, hit perfectly on strike. Olivia to Kemp for a big, big touchdown. For play number seven, we head to our state semifinal game against Choctaw. This is an extra point that ties up the game. Play we've seen an awful lot of time. Everything is done perfectly on both sides of the field, but when the Knights execute, there's nothing they can do on defense. Let's watch it in slow motion. McKenna Tyson down, plants her feet, comes back up, and there's the ball just where it needs to be for the tie extra point. For play number six, let's stay in the same game versus Choctaw, and let's set a record while we're at it. Freshman Emily Kemp is just about to catch her 32nd pass of the year, an all-time Florida record. Olivia takes a snap, looks back, and there you have it. Look at all that space she's gained. Let's watch it again. Folks, you couldn't get more separation without a court order. Let's set the stage here for play number five. Robinson has just scored Choctaw, takes over and wants to put together a drive. First play is a throw. Emily Kemp has grabbed it. That'll take that drive away, and the Knights take over in great position. Let's watch it again in slow motion. Emily Kemp comes across, grabs it, and, well, hello, Christiana. Big play by the Knights in the semifinal state game. We're on to play number four, and we found ourselves in overtime versus Choctaw. Knights have to score this possession or next. Slant pattern in the end zone. That's McKenna Tyson, who is able to make a catch. Let's watch that one again. Watch Olivia fire across here. The ball's a little behind her, but McKenna makes an adjustment, reaches back. Don't di- juggling, juggling. She's got it. Touchdown in extras. For highlight number three, we've cheated a little bit, folks, because it's kind of a collage, a collage of utter domination by defense in the state finals. First play, here we show. I'll take that flag. That's Sarah Genawine. She does this all day. We've just taken a couple highlights. I'll take that flag. Another loss for Edison. Now they put 38 blockers. She gets through 17, through one more. Right, left, right, left. I'll take that flag. Another sack by Sarah in a dominant day at the state finals for Miss Jenna Wine. And we move on to number two. Let's, we've done it on defense. Let's now do it on offense. Edison, state finals. First score by Robinson is Emily Draper on a fly pattern hit by Olivia. One of her famous bullseyes. Let's watch this ball in the air. Delivered to Miss Draper perfectly who outruns every would-be Edison defender. And we have arrived at the number one play of the season, and this is a game-season-saving defensive play. Choctaw, in overtime, has to score, and they've got a girl open in the end zone, but that ball is tipped away. Let's go to tremendous pixelization in slow motion to show just how close that ball was to get, but 
McKenna Tyson thankfully did not cut her fingernails that day, and the Knights went on to victory in overtime against Choctaw, and as we all know, their state championship. There we have it, our top 10 plus two plays of the year. A great year was had by all. A state championship successful run by your Robinson Knights. Congratulations to all. If you're a freshman, sophomore, or junior, we look forward to seeing you next year and doing it all again. If you're a senior, thanks for all you've done. We wish you the best. Come back and visit us sometime.